YouTube. It's your Lauren Saver, King D Free Five Free here. If you had another episode, Thomas was alone. In the last episode, I ever so slowly beat two missions that I had done before. Oh wait, I remember now. The reason that they didn't take as much time as they did this time around was because I skipped one of them. And this time I actually showed off the one I skipped because the lag was no longer a thing. We let's push you. Wait. Actually, we need to do it this way. I remember this. First, Thomas needs to hold this up here. Then you jump up and actually no, you don't jump up yet. Put that back on Thomas. Back on Thomas, I said. Stay on Thomas, stay on- fuck. You know what? Chris can put it back up on Thomas, cause Chris is gonna be going on top of you. And then- ah, fuck. Alright, Chris, jump back up on her. Now you move here. Now Chris. Really? There we go. Now, Chris, move over some. And you jump up here. Thomas, move here some. You fall here. Thomas, move to the corner. Chris on top of her. And bam. Now, Thomas can jump off her. And now she can jump up here. Now we continue to push him some more. Okay, and I believe in this one, we need Thomas and Chris to act as step letters for her to make just a tad bit easier. Good time. Ooh, I remember this one. Chris was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. He knew. He knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Yeah, bro, help your woman. Are you needed here? No, I don't believe you are. So let's bring you into the water. I know there's someone in this mission that if you get them to their spot too quickly... It's an insta-lose. You have to start over if you fuck up. One person can reach their button before everyone else, but I don't know who. Alright, your thing moved. So now I come here and press this button. So now you can reach that. You can reach that. And now I need you to reach your spot. Where's your spot again? Okay, there we go. 
Oh, and we still have a decent amount of time to finish this one. Awesome. Memory serves. This one's relatively easy. And there we go. Thomas liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. Dude, this is ridiculously simple. to give it back to blue just yet. Yeah, cuz... Yeah. As you guys can tell, I'm not looking at the color spectrum. There we go. And I, that was one I never did before, so... Is it just you? No, there are two others. There's you. Massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. You're too low to help, Sarah. This is difficult. No. No. There we go. Now we shove you in there. Okay, so now we wait for you. Then we push that in there. Alright, I want to push it once that thing juts it up. 
we No we No I took too long. <laughs> Come back. Yeah. Did I just change? I'm not entirely sure what just changed. Oh. It's nothing to do with you, nothing down there. Ah. Yeah, I might be able to do this in time. We okay. Okay. Who that the press a button is now? It's not you. You don't have anything to do. There's nothing here. Oh! You're moving. So we get you there, we jump you up here. Oh god. We okay. So now you can get into your spot. But no one else can get into theirs, so what do I do now? Wait oh I see now. From here everyone can just get into your places. Alright. So Thomas jumps up here. You jump up here. You come here. You come here. And then Sarah gets into her spot. Yes, I am doing commentary. No voiceover? Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. In the next episode, we continue our blocky journey. Deuces, YouTube.